Greetings, fellow Space Marines. This is Mr. Allen D1, and for the Doom community, this is Alondo One. It's that time again, and oh boy, has it been a year. And it went by fast, too. As you probably saw in the beginning of the video, uh, that 2023, um, yeah, two wasn't that good either. Um, however, that doesn't mean uh, that there were you no know, good things that happened. I mean, there were good things that did happen this year, but I feel as though there were way more bad things than good things. But let's just focus on the good stuff for the time being. All right, so one of the positive things that happened this year, it really just mostly involved the Toby Accessibility Mod. So the release of version 6.1, uh, was a success, and um, also back in May I did the Zoom interview with Illegally Sighted, and I had a great time talking to him. Really, I recommend all of you check out Illegally Sighted. He's an awesome dude, a uh, really down-to-earth kind of guy, very fun to talk to, awesome guy, so I give him a lot of love. And um, also more with the Toby Accessibility Mod, that we had Operation MDK, which is a new map pack for it, and uh, then of course we had, uh, near the end of the year, uh, I think it was actually November, um, Illegally Sighted uh, showed me that awesome picture of that little note signed by the one, the only, John Romero, and it was really cool to see that we got Romero's blessing, and of course, really, um, the rest of the guys, Jerwell and Predo, are two are it, just as in awe. You know, they were two are like, "Wow, this is freaking cool." You know, and really, it is. You know, to to have John Romero um, give us his blessing, it, it's really, um, it, it really was an accomplishment. You know, of course, it would be nice too to watch John Romero play Doom blindfolded. I think I I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. But regardless, I mean, still very awesome, nonetheless. So the other good news this year was pertaining to the Temple of Lizardmen series. And for those who have been following what's been going on, um, of course I had the gold editions of the Temple of Lizardmen wads. So that's Temple of Lizardmen 1 Remake, Temple of Lizardmen 2, 3, 4, and 5. All have a little bit of a touch-up in there, a little update, or fix. Sometimes it's all three of those, and, and some of them, you know. But um, I was really happy to release those. And um, and then, of course, we have the Temple of Elizabeth novel, which I've been hearing some positive feedback with that, and I'm glad people have been enjoying it. And, um, and yeah, it's really, really, really uh, awesome to see how far Temple of Elizabeth has come and... And to just see the amount of love people have for it, it really, it really means a lot to me. And then the uh, other good thing that happened this year was um, back in August I took an online course for IT. Um, so it was a three-month course, and there are three parts to it, so each month was a particular portion of that course. So. Part 1 was hardware, part 2 was software, part 3 was networking and security. And um, I really enjoyed the course very much and uh, I took it online, it was from a trade school. And the cool thing about this course, get this folks, it only cost $339 for three months to take an IT course to prepare you for the CompTIA certification exam. So, I was really happy with how this course went. Of course, I'll be taking the CompTIA exam uh, in the new year, whether it be January or February. I'll have to see what their schedule is, though. But I will be taking an IT certification exam. And I really enjoyed the course. And it really was worth the money. You know, it was a very good deal. So, um, so yeah, I was really happy how that turned out. Hey, guys. Editor Orlando here. While working on the end of the year video, I came across additional good news. On the website doomawards.com, the Toby Accessibility Mod won a staff award. I'd like to thank Gerald, Pradella, and Illegally Sighted for doing such an amazing job with this project. Really, their help has, has made it into what it is today, and I can't thank them enough. 
you guys deserve this award as well. I'll leave a link to the webpage in the description below. Demon Awards had a lot of good things to say, so be sure to check them out. In other news, it's, I would say this is more of neutral news, but um, the good thing with the two things I'm about to discuss, you know, they have a happy ending to it. Um, of course, one a lot of you are familiar with, and that was when I went to the Retro Gaming Expo back in August, where I had that incident occur. There is a bit of an update with this, by the way. Um, not long after I posted the video pertaining to the Retro Gaming Expo, I received an email from one of the, um, I guess you could say a representative, or someone who's in charge of staff there, um, and he mentioned that he saw the video and um, addressed the issue with staff. He apologized for that situation and offered me a free weekend pass for 2024. So, there was a surprise, but I said, sure, that's okay. And of course, I did mention him. I have no ill will towards the guy who accosted me. And I'm sure that there was, you know, it's just a misunderstanding and all, but, um, but definitely thank you for following up, you know. And of course, I don't want anyone to really, like, get in trouble or anything like that. It's just really, you know, want to just clear up any misunderstanding that they may be, you know. So, that was an interesting, um, interesting uh, thing that happened as an aftermath for it, but, yeah, so, so next Retro Gaming Expo, I'll be able to go either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. The next thing is, um, back at the end of October, my mother went for surgery. She, she had, uh, surgery around her, her hip, the left side of her hip. Uh, the thing is, um, for a while, I've been taking care of my mother because she's been having mobility issues for the past 15 years. And uh, ever since my father passed away in 2008, I had to help take care of my mother. So um, it, it's been a difficult road for the, for the past 15 years, but it's nice to know that my mom is able to go for surgery, you know, actually get the surgery she actually needed. Um, so little by little, she is getting better. And it has been a busy past several weeks, um, but she, she's doing all right, which is good. She's recovering very well, and hopefully soon she'll be a little more independent, you know. And now for the not-so-good news. Um, so, at the beginning of the year, um, I lost a dear friend of mine, a family friend, and, um, of course, she's an older, an older woman, but she's known me ever since I was a baby, so we go way back, and she's always been like family. Uh, but for the past couple of years, she's been battling um, a very aggressive cancer, uh, colon cancer, to be more exact. And um, this, this year, you know, in March, uh, she unfortunately had passed away from it. And she was always a big fan of my books and my writing, and she always was uh, was rooting me on to do my best and to push me to be all I can be, you know. She really was just like family. To lose her this year, it was, uh, it was difficult, you know. Of course, I was very thankful that she had the chance to read my first four books, and... Um, and I really do thank her for pushing me to be better and better, you know, as, in whatever I do, and of course in this case, writing. And, um, another casualty this year, which was actually back in October, the same week my mother was going in for surgery, uh, a dear friend of my mom's uh, passed away, tragically, from complications from pneumonia, actually. And, um, it, it was difficult, and, was, and of course I was thinking to myself when, when that happens, like, this, this is not what my mom needs this week, you know. But it, it, it is what it is, you know. Life does this, you know. It can, it can just throw a curveball at you when you least expect it. But the thing is, is that that's why you have to know how to roll with the punches that life throws at you, you know what I mean? That's something which I'm very much used to by now. There was another sad thing that actually happened. <laughs> but it does have a positive ending, though. But it was a nerve-wracking thing that, that happened. 
So, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with what happened on October 7th. Yes, the uh, situation that happened in Israel. So, when Hamas attacked Israel, um, my cousin, along with his wife and two kids, were in Israel at the time. But fortunately, they were on the west side of Israel, not the east side. But my cousin and his family were on lockdown for for a, about a week, maybe a little over a week. And it was just nerve-wracking those past several days. You know, I mean, I tell you, my mother and my aunt were just so emotional. And even my, my cousins were just a nervous wreck, you know. But... Um, Fortunately, after several days of being in lockdown, my cousin and his wife and two kids were able to get a plane out of there and make their way to Spain, and then from Spain they were able to come back to the U.S. Now, in case you're wondering why my cousin was in Israel at that time, um, his wife's family is in Israel. They live in Israel. But fortunately, my cousin and his wife and his two kids are home safe, and... Um, it really was just a nerve-wracking uh, situation. So, that's why I'm going to leave it, folks. So, I just hope all of you will have a very safe holiday and also a safe new year. Mark Twain had once said, and this, this one is something that really brought a tear to my eye when I heard it the first time. The two most important days of your life is the day you were born the day you find out why. And on that note, just want to let all of you know that I care about all of you. I'm always thinking about everybody. I want you to be safe. I want to be as positive as you can be. And, and just hang in there. Alright, we're going to push through it all. And we, we're going to get through it the best that we can. That's all we can do. Just stay strong and keep your head up. And don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on others either. Don't give up on hope. Because life is worth living. No matter what. Keep fighting, keep moving, keep surviving. That's something that keeps me going all the time. So, with that being said, folks, I want to wish you a belated Happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and also a Happy and Healthy New Year. And as you know how my outros go, if you're watching this during the day, I wish all of you a good day. If you're watching this during the evening, I wish all of you a good evening. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video, and the new year as well. Take care.